also liked the art and you can just uh, put it in the wardrobe and then you can mix it through the year and yeah, make sure. your house yeah. fun and not boring and not fitting forever like right now i see this little yeah, this super small gold thing <laughs> i just wanted to attend you on it if you had already uh, uh, found it <laughs> what is this thing yeah it's it's also a nice uh, a nice quote i found on some calendar and i didn't want to throw it away because it was really speaking to me and then it was in the cupboard for a few months and then i found this super small frame i got from my mother once it was somewhere in a box and I was like, hey, this is the perfect frame for this little card, which will fit in. Uh, and then, like I said before, on this huge wallpaper wall, there's not really room for yeah. any more art. But this is so small and so yeah. uh, like almost a treasure you need to hunt for uh, yeah. that it fits in. Uh, it fits in great. So it is there, but you, you need to be here for a few times, I think, before you <laughs> before you find it. I think this small art could uh, you could, of course, just put it like an art piece somewhere in your house, on a table or on a cabinet or anywhere you want. But if you group them, you could um, you could either use something invisible, like uh, a tape on the back and just put it on the wall. But if you use uh, visible tape, you can, of course, choose in every store. They have like all these different uh, designs now. Uh, and it's actually great because they stick, but they won't rip your paint off the wall. <laughs> so that's nice if you want to change for, uh, for, uh, for some time. And then you can actually play a little bit with color in there. So you can make a real bright color accent in a room where you have some or other orange stuff. So you can be like, oh, I put uh, an orange one on every one of them. Or actually use something that's more blending with the colors in the art. So it's not really uh, distracting too much from what's happening over there. And then this one I would actually like to try out um, in our bedroom, which has more of a vintage feeling with the gold and the leaves and uh, more the natural elements in it. And uh, we have this vintage cabinet. So it could be a nice uh, bridge between the more uh, uh, graphical elements over here and the more vintage element that's over there. So we can try it out. Okay, let's try it. And especially with this small size, which can be challenged because sometimes small <laughs> size is harder to place than the yeah, big one. Yeah, definitely. So you keep the gray color for in all the door. Yeah. Talking about the poem downstairs, mm -hmm. we know that you have here as well one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you just uh, print that and then you really worked on the frame. Yeah, it's just uh, a cheap print from our own printer yeah. <laughs> so that's nothing special there but uh, yeah the frame is, uh, is 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 like super outspoken asking for attention over here in yeah. all the white and gray yeah. and then I did this trick again like use some black here and then we have some black uh, uh, light fixtures over here oh, yeah. on the ceiling and also above the bed so then you have this link again and a black pot for the plant and some pillow on the bed. So the black accents are, are really working together. So although the frame is outside of the room, it still feels like it is part of... Uh, yeah, and it's not, uh, as we were talking, it's not anywhere that you will spot it immediately. No. It really... Yeah. Uh, it's more ask a, for hey do you see me here yeah. My, maybe <laughs> yeah it's it's more like a room that you pass by yeah. <laughs> when going from one room to another room uh, then that is really like this highlight spot where you uh, automatically will see it uh, and that's also more because it's like a, a poem so it's quite personal it's about uh, taking your rest and putting your backpack off when going to bed and 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 just leave everything behind and get a good night's sleep so it's not necessarily something I really want everyone to see when they come in the room. It's more for, it's for myself, <laughs> so it, it doesn't need to be like super visible. So you keep the pattern for the ceiling as well. Yeah. You keep the big size of the lightning. Yeah. Awesome. You really like different lamps. They are in every room. It's like a collection of lamps. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And also it's much more softer room than all others. Like the yeah. black here is just uh, little elements. It's not on the wall. Yeah. or anything and the gray gives this very balanced and very nice as you said downstairs gray can yeah. be cold warm yeah in a bedroom for me it's more about getting rest and and 
really a, a personal space while in the in the space where i work or eat or cook it can be a bit more talking to me and to my senses to the sight and the hearing and and the touch and and in here i just want to relax and and sleep <laughs> and not be bothered too much by everything that's going on in the room actually here i can imagine the uh, pink one with the white frame yeah it's so yeah, soft, because soft it's so soft. Now mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, right. Soft. Yeah, yeah, and then I put on some but of those the those funny guys tapes. will be also nice looking here. Yeah, <laughs> they could be like part of the part of the group going on here. And that's nice about yeah. that it is so so small because it is it is there, but because it's like black and white and it's just really like part of the color palette of the room already. So this would for me definitely be some art that I would like to place here because it's not, not asking for too much attention. But still, if I'm here and I want to look at something interesting, it is there. It could be like this in the in the gray area on the wall. But for example, if you would place it more, this looks you could amazing. also And you can place like so much with this glue, like you can move it as much as you want. It's not yeah. like having it nailed mm -hmm. on the wall. So today I feel this mood. Today yeah. I feel this mood. Yeah, right. <laughs> you could put you could put <laughs> one on that you're like, yeah, I feel I feel some compassion with this one today. Yeah, exactly. Or you yeah. can make it make the guys talking to each yeah. other. <laughs> yeah, there could for me it could even be like because if you just want to use one, this could also be like a great spot just to place. Oh, that is so nice there. It's kind of hiding, but still part of the group. Yeah, this plant looks really happy. <laughs> it's so green. Yeah, it it is exactly the same as downstairs. Like you here, you want to sleep. You don't yeah. want to look at. Yeah. But their little golden frame. Yeah. And here, this little thing hidden between the. Yeah, this is also I think a nice corner too. If you have smaller art, you. And the and that spot is more. If you're entering the room, of course, I'm definitely going to look at this. Yeah. But then this corner is more next to the curtain, more for, yeah, for the one who is actually sleeping here. Yeah. <laughs> so when you get a home tour, you probably don't see it, but... <laughs> Good. So, yeah, now they are around the house, uh, around the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're there and yeah. we have two yeah, there. Kind of group, right yeah. Now. Okay, and talking about balance, um, this is... Um, working room room in a process yeah you still don't have a final solution what mm -hmm. will be the color here yeah and yeah everything right now is completely white yeah it's like a newly fre <laughs> crispy fresh delivered room yeah. uh, still <laughs> all white walls and uh, yeah only color is in the in the plants and in the clothes that are uh, hanging over there so yeah, here I'm still figuring out and, and that's what I like about uh, this process of rebuilding your own house is that you can take the time for, an, especially in this house where you have all these smaller rooms, you can just do room by room and every time you're being uh, for a longer time in the space decide on, yeah, well, I need a warmer color here or I need something more vibrant over here or like in the bedroom, I need some space to calm down and, and take a rest. Uh, so for this space we're uh, still figuring it out <laughs> so uh, slightly there are there's uh, coming more and more stuff in here like a mirror and a big plant and some small plant over here and then a nice picture with it um, here you could also search for some difference in like put a personal picture in there or actually put some artwork in there and you will really get like a different vibe and it, I think it really depends on the space because the picture that's in there is a really personal picture. So this is like the room where I dress up, do some sports or just enjoy taking care of myself. So there can be a personal picture in there. Uh, but if it would be like my office, I would probably prefer it to be more an artwork or something that's uh, not necessarily a super nice memory, but something that's triggering new thoughts. Here you have like the perfect big mm. clear white wall. <laughs> maybe you could this... put anything on yeah, here. Now. Yeah, maybe yeah. this will be good for a big size yeah. strong painting yeah. that will yeah. stall whatever. Because mm -hmm. this is a room with a very simple purpose. You just yeah. come and dress up. Yeah. And actually this kind of painting can be a very nice inspiration. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you could... Uh, I think it... it the only thing that could go wrong here is to put something that is really 
too small or not uh, not really talking on its own. You yeah. you actually need a statement piece in here also because like all the clothes and the patterns and the different fabrics are here and if you put something not not brave enough on this wall it will be like <laughs> yeah. this is not gonna work. 